So now I got two squares done like this. Isn't that really pretty? Very cool design, very geometric. Um, yeah, that's all you really do. I'm going to make a few more squares and um, show you how the bracelet looks like after I do a few more um, square pattern patterns. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so now I'm done making the squares. I didn't just add a few more squares. I pretty much finished my whole bracelet, as you can see. Um, and I didn't attach the other side of the clasp yet because I wanted to show you guys how to do that. So... Yeah, and I only have like an inch or an inch and a half of thread left, which is not good because I don't think that's enough thread to tie on the clasp. And I think it will be harder to tie on the clasp without enough thread on each side. So now I'm going to change the measurements for you guys. So I'm going to tell you right now that don't cut 22 inches of thread or string or whatever you're using. Um, you should cut about 30 inches to 40 inches, 30 to 35, around that. It depends on your wrist size. I have a really small wrist and this just like is like just right for my wrist which means that people with bigger wrists than like six inches or six and a half will definitely um, run out of string with 20, 22 inches. If they cut 22 inches they'll definitely not have enough string for their bracelet. And also it depends on the size buggle beads you use too because um, these buckle beads are pretty small, um, but if you use like larger buckle beads that are like this long or whatever, you'll use up more thread. So it also you have to take that into consideration too. So right now I'm gonna tie on the clasp. So right here I have let me zoom in for you guys so you guys can see it better. So right now I've like have all these squares on my bracelet and these two string strands hanging so now I'm gonna take um like my clasp and thread it through one of the strings one of the strands and make sure you pull the bracelet tight because you don't want these squares to loosen up so after you've got that you're gonna tie it in a double knot pull it really tight and then I'm going to make another double knot just in case because it looks like it's going to come out loose really easily. So I'm going to tie another double knot. Pull it tight. And also since my thread seems like it's going to slip I'm going to add a little clear polish to the knot. Um, yeah. So I tied two double knots. Pull it really tight. And my clasp is in the middle. And now I'm finished. I'm not going to trim off the ends yet because I'm going to add some clear polish. So I'm going to get my clear polish right here. And you can use any clear polish. You can also use like craft glue or whatever. I'm just going to be using clear polish. And just take a little bit of that. And just dab it onto the knot, like really, like, don't put it on the bead or anything. Try to get it only on the knot. Sorry about that. Hopefully you can see right now. I don't want to, like, get it onto the clasp. Because if I do, um, it won't, the clasp won't really move, like, freely. It will be, like, attached to the bead and the knot. It will be just a mess. Should I get that? on there. I'm gonna put that back. Let that dry for a while. Pretty much dried right now. You can trim the thread right now. So I'm just gonna trim it to really close like right there. And I can throw these little excess strands away. And then my bracelet is finished. So this is how it looks. Hope you guys like this um, tutorial. I really like this bracelet. It looks really cool. And I'm going to fasten the ends right here so you guys can see how it looks finished. So 
this is how it looks. Really nice, right? I love it. it. Looks so geometric and really cool, the pattern. So, yep. That's how you make this square pattern bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and video. Um, please rate and comment on it and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.